temporo mandibular joint what type of joint it is it is a synovial type of joint and it is of condylar variety as you can see this joint with a closer picture it has an articular surface so the upper articular surface is formed by the parts of the temporal bone that is articular tubercle anterior part of the mandibular fossa and posterior non articular part which is the one which is formed by the tympanic plate the inferior articular surface is formed by the head of the mandible and here the articular surfaces are covered with fibrocartilage and the joint cavity is divided into upper as well as lower parts by intra articular disc and what are the ligaments which are present around the temporomandibular joints the ligaments are the fibrous capsule the lateral ligament the spinomandibular ligament and the stylomandibular ligament let us discuss about the fibrous capsule in detail the fibrous capsule of the temporomandibular joint is attached above to the articular tubercle the circumference of the mandibular fossa in front and the squamo tympanic fissure behind and below the neck of the mandible this capsule is of loose variety above the intra articular disc but it is tight below the disc and the synovial membrane lines the fibrous capsule as well as to the neck of the mandible next is the lateral temporomandibular ligament this lateral temporomandibular ligament especially strengthens the lateral part of the capsular ligament these fibers are directed downwards and backwards this ligament is attached above to the articular tubercle and below to the posterolateral aspect of the neck of the mandible and next one is spino mandibular ligament the spino mandibular ligament is an accessory ligament that lies on the deep plane away from the fibrous capsule it is attached superiorly to the spine of the sphenoid and inferiorly to the lingula of the mandibular foramen it is a remnant of the dorsal part of the meckel's cartilage and this ligament is related laterally to the lateral pterygoid muscle auriculotemporal nerve the maxillary artery and this ligament is related medially to the chorda tympani nerve the wall of the pharynx that is near its lower end it is pierced by the mylohyoid nerve as well as its muscles next one is the stylomandibular ligament the stylomandibular ligament is another accessory ligament of the joint and it is represented by a thickened part of the deep cervical fascia which separates the parotid as well as submandibular salivary glands it is attached above to the lateral surface of the styloid process and below to the angle and adjacent part of the posterior border of the ramus of the mandible and next is about the articular disc the articular disc is an oval predominantly a fibrous plate which divides the joint into upper as well as lower compartments the upper compartment permits the gliding movements and lower compartment is rotatory as well as for gliding movements and the disc has a concave convex superior surface as well as a concave inferior surface as you can see over here that the periphery of the disc is attached to the fibrous capsule and this disc is extremely important because it prevents the friction between the articular surfaces and also it acts as a cushion and helps in shock absorption not only that the articular disc is responsible for the stabilization of the condyle by filling up the space between the articular surfaces and next is about the vascular supply vascular supply is from the branches of the superficial temporal as well as maxillary artery and the nerve supply is mainly by means of auriculotemporal nerve as well as masseteric nerve what about the movements of temporomandibular joint movements are as follows depression elevation protrusion retrusion and these are the movements of temporomandibular joint